To know about how to fight fires, you first have to understand the fire triangle. For a fire to exist, there has to be three elements in place. Those elements are oxygen, heat, and fuel. Fire extinguishers are designed the type of fuel that may need it to be extinguished. Using the wrong type of extinguisher can actually just make a fire worse. That's why you have to know the type of fuel that you're going to need to extinguish to choose the right extinguisher. How fire extinguishers are designed is to remove just one side of the fire triangle. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the importance, use, and the basic parts and functions of the fire extinguisher. But further ado, let's jump right into it. Fire extinguishers can be a small but important part of the home fire safety plan. They can save lives and property by putting out a small fire or suppressing it until the fire department arrives. According to the National Fire Protection Association, fires can be diminished by the use of a fire extinguisher. Now, to fight a fire using a fire extinguisher, remember the PASS method. That's P-A-S-S. -S. Pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the trigger, and sweep at the base of the flames from side to side. For the last part, I'm going to discuss about the basic parts and functions of a fire extinguisher. First is the discharge lever. Pressing the discharge lever allows the extinguishing agent to begin discharging. Second is the carrying handle. The handle allows for easy grasping, lifting, and carrying off the extinguisher. Then the safety pin, also known as the locking pin. The purpose of this pin is to prevent accidental discharge. For instance, accidentally squeezing the operating lever down when you only meant to carry the extinguisher to a different location. Next is the pressure gauge. It shows the current pressure of the fire extinguisher and that it hasn't been used or damaged and is within the proper PSI range. Discharge nozzle. The nozzle is the hose conical end out of which the extinguishing agent disperses. Then the discharge hose. The hose that allows the extinguishing agent to travel from the tank to the base of the fire and enables the user to aim the flow of the agent. And lastly, the cylinder and the base. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you learned a lot about fire extinguishing.